So here's the new disc. Harbor Freight Jobby. Cheap. But it does the job. So let me show you what I got going on here. I want to... So I printed this a long time ago. It's a light holder for LED lights. So I think like nine of them can go in here. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I need to add a toggle switch. So like this, it's a normal toggle, 12 volt toggle switch. And I think what I'm going to do is mount it right here. But we got to come up with a way to mount that in there. So, what I'm thinking is I'm going to have it some like this, about somewhere in there. And then I can wire it straight. Oh wow, can't really see anything there, huh? But to the MOSFET, because that has a constant 12 volt supply. So I've been thinking about this, and I don't think I want to do it off this side. I want to do it off. The, I want to do it somewhere else instead of this side, because this is going to kill my Z motion with the carriage as the carriage moves up and down. So that's not going to work. All right. So I had a bit of a rethink on this. What I think I'm going to do is have the bracket come out here. And kind of just hook into this main support. So to do that, we need to kind of diagram it out here. Point four. This side. Twenty-two point three eight. But then this is. 24.5 mil long, so we'll go 30 mil towards the back, 30 mil this way. I think that'll work. It'll make more sense when we go to the computer. I'll show you. Get some of this support material off of there. All right. So that's how hopefully it will work out. I'll just remount the hole just a little bit just to make sure. Clean this back hole out. I'll put the switch in. Oh, look at that. Man, almost looks like I know what I'm doing. Hopefully. I suppose I'm not printing anything. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh. See if I can find the hole, huh?
All right. Okay, so you guys see this video in about a month when uh, I find my soldering iron and actually do the rest of the video. So this one has power constant, uh, power to accessory, which will be the lights and then a common ground. So this ground and the power consistent will go to the MOSFET, power in, and then the accessory will be the 12 volt to the lights, and then the common ground will go from each one to the ground. And all I'm going to use for this project is just a USB extension cable. <laughs> this cable is for um, just extending you know, it's, a, it's got a male and a female end on the USB. You can get these from the dollar store for a dollar. So, I mean, it's a dollar worth of like three foot of wire. So, and they have four wires on the inside of these, which makes it really, really nice for this, pro this type of project for LEDs. And the four wire bundle is green, red, black, and white. So pretty nice if you think about it, green, red, blue, and then power. And then I like to keep these ends just in case I need to power something or, you know, hook into another one. I just keep them. So I haven't made my helping hands rig yet on the new desk so this may be a little bit tricky but. so what we could do now is just bridge the red green and blue into one because we're all we're gonna do is connect all three wires together but um if you wanted to keep this on remote or something you would want to do green red and blue with different wires so we'll just wire it up that way so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to tin the wires which is just going to be adding solder to them. And I'll come through and just cut off the excess from the tin. So the prints just got done. Well, then just. That's a lie. That's a complete lie. But that's all right. Because you don't need to know my business. So on the MOSFET here, the right side is the side which is constant. Should be able to throw these two in there and it'll be constant ground and power. Okay, I'm gonna have to just do this off camera. So now we have to hook up the switch, which is on or off, but I guess it's kind of arbitrary. It doesn't really matter. The lights in. Channel there. There we go. They're all sitting there like that. So basically what we did is we hooked up the power and the ground to the DC in on the MOSFET. You could do it also to the DC in of the board, whatever. So that's sitting there. Put this back to where I had it. All right, so switch on. Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty nifty. I'll put the files on Thingiverse if anybody wants them. But I'm going to start printing. Lots of cool projects coming up, so stay tuned.